Hi everyone, my name is Meredith Angel and I'm an ECW Certified Implementation Specialist. Today I'm going to take you through two of the documents, e-statements practice setup and also the patient view on patient portal that are included in our new client onboarding documents. So to start with, we're going to go through e-statements practice setup. Now this is to opt patients out of receiving paper statements so that they will only receive e-statements. To get started, we're in our test environment here. And we're going to go into the patient search box so we can find our patient and opt them out of paper statements. So I'm just going to go into patient search, find the patient. So this can be done if the patient's checking in for their most current appointment. It can be done passively, so you can just search through all of your patients and opt them out. Usually, I would imagine it would be done when receiving that initial paperwork and the patient has indicated that they do not need to receive paper statements. Down at the bottom, when you click Options, it's a simple button. You just click Opt Out of Paper Statements. You're going to get a warning, and all you need to do is confirm that the patient does not want to receive paper statements and will only receive e-statements. Yes, and OK. Now, when patient statements are run from the account up screen, the patients that have been opted out of paper statements will no longer receive that paper statement, but they will get, receive a notification that they have an e-statement. And those notifications are set up through patient portal settings, which I'm going to take you into now. Under our menu bar, click into Hilo patient portal settings, and we're going to start at the top with feature settings. Now over on the right side here, there are a few that are indicated by enable e-payment collection from portal. If you want that to be set to yes, enable balance collection from portal, set to yes, Enable payment auto posting, we set to no because we want our pay payment posters to properly assign and post those payments received. And enable copay collection. So if that patient does have a copay, they can pay that prior to coming in for their appointment, saving the front desk staff more time. If you want to read about a little line about what any of these settings mean, you can click more info and it will explain the setting. Back in feature settings, don't forget, as I did, if you change any of these settings from no to yes, you need to click save. Now into menu settings. Current statements, that would enable the patient to see their current statement within their menu settings. You want to set that to yes, as well as past statement, also set that to yes. And again, save. Finally, into email message settings. So with the portal, you can of course not email patients information or secure information to their email, but you can send just a generic email that you, hey, your statement's ready for you to view. Please log into the portal to view it. So e email statement information, yes. And then click into setting and it will open up this statement reminder. So you can change the subject. Maybe you wanna put your practice name first we could put G1HS statement reminder. Practice could put the name of their practice statement reminder so that the patient knows who, knows who it is from. And this comes preloaded into the patient portal settings. So it will auto populate the practice name, the patient's name, and also an easy link so that they can go view their statement. So it's just a generic message. Your billing statement is now available. They can easily click that link to view and pay their statement. Save that message and save the settings here if that email statement information was changed from no to yes. So when that email message is sent, this is what it looks like. So dear Marie, that's my test patient. Your billing statement is now available. Please click here. To view and pay your statement. 
the patient will log in with their credentials that were set up for their patient portal. And upon login, if the patient, like mine does, has an appointment upcoming and has a copay that they could pay, it will display here, copay of $25. They will be able to click pay copay. It will open up a payment portal gateway. We don't have it set up since it's a test environment, but this screen will pop, will pop up and it will have space for their billing information, their credit card information to pay that online. If the patient also has a statement balance, they'll have the statement latest statement square with their balance from which they can either click pay this bill directly or, or go into the statement, see statement details, where they can view more details on their statement, why they owe. They can print this page out, fill out their credit card information, or alternatively, if this was a real um, practice portal, they would have a button above this card information where they could also pay online and pay their statement. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.